We vibing on timing, Bob's vibing. So guys, going for a little quarantine, quarantine walk, guys. I gotta be careful, six feet, six feet. All these people, guys. Here's the deal: if someone tries to charge me, and they're and they're drooling, and they're trying, they're gonna bite me. That means they're 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 means they're a corona zombie. <laughs> guys, I didn't bring any weapons with me, but they're pretty weak. The corona zombies are pretty weak. You can usually fight them off with just just a few fingers. That's how weak they are. Just you, you got to be aware. You got to be listening for their growls and their snarling. Because I mean, a big thing is you know what I mean. It's it's an auditory. It's like the footsteps. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. You gotta be. You can't have your headphones in. If you have your headphones in, you're gonna get bit by a headphone zombie. I don't know what to tell you. A headphone zombie, coronavirus zombie. Why not? You guys want to see some? Here's a sign that says, "Men working." Check that out. Not this moth. <laughs> I've been working. I'd be working, I'd be walking, dude. Guys, going for a walk, lunch walk. So I grab the sticks, I pick up the sticks, and next thing you know, I'm boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. See, there you go. This is that back of the sign, dude. Go check out this, this, check out this. Ooh. Oh, God, man, I can dunk so hard, guys. Guys, I can't dunk, I can't jump that high. I wish I could. I'm practicing, guys, I'm practicing the bodyweight squats, guys. But you know why? Because because eventually I'll be able to jump to the moon, guys. That's the whole point. I mean, what's the point of, what's the point of living if you can't jump to the moon? Uh, okay, it's a little chilly out. I brought, I brought, I brought, uh, I brought a long sleeve shirt, but I'm hesitant, hesitant to wear it over my Rick and Morty shirt, because then you wouldn't be able to see it. You know what I mean? That's the, what's the point of wearing the shirt if you can't see it. So uh, there's some children up here. Uh, I'm gonna. They don't look. They don't look. Uh, what's the word? Rabid. Uh, neither do these old folks. They're looking at me. <laughs> They're staring at me. Why is that dude filming himself? You know, that's people don't know, guys. Guys, don't worry about it. There's, there's no, there ain't no rules or laws against me talking to my phone. Guys, I'm just, am I just a little man in a box? Is that all I am to you? Am I just a little guy in a box? You watch this in the toilet? Mike, I bet my friend Mike's watching this in the toilet. Hey, guys, how's he doing? Those are cool branches. Look at the branches. Woo! Just some cool kids playing with some. That's what you gotta do, guys. You gotta get outside. You gotta. You gotta, you, you gotta get with nature, guys. I'm gonna go for a bike ride later because it's gonna be 175 degrees here. Can you believe it? It's gonna be so nice. And 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 then, and then you're outside and you're getting exercise. How you doing? So I mean, it's it's a double whammy. You know what I mean? You guys, we're coming up at a very crucial crucial turn here. I mean, if I go left, uh, there's you know that's a dungeon of dun, dungeon of reckoning that way. And if I take a right, this is this is this is ha happy land. Let's go to happy land. Happy Land sounds way better Dungeon of Reckoning. Why would I ever go to Dungeon of Reckoning? I'm never gonna go there. Why? I mean, I mean, sure, it might be cool to, to check out, but you know what I mean? I, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get chained up in a dungeon and starved to within an inch of my life and kept in that state in chains for like 50 years. You can you imagine that would suck, dude? You can't move because you're chained up, and then your your arms would just be stuck like that, dude. So imagine someone let you down after 30 years, your arms would be stuck like that permanently, guys. You wouldn't go to the moon. You know what I mean? Because you because you've been chained up for what I say, 50 years. What if it was like a hundred, guys? What if they imprisoned you when you were born, when you were a baby, but they took extraordinary care of you, like they fed you the finest meals, they kept you in shape. But, you, but besides that, you, you stayed in the dungeon. You know what I mean? And they chained you up. So there could be a hundred one year old guy in a dungeon. Who knows, guys? There's not that many people out right now. I'm on my lunch, my lunch break at work. I'm working from home, guys. Me, 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 and my wife are working from home because, because we don't, we don't want to catch. What is this vampire? Vi, vi, what is this? What? Is it, we don't want to catch this virus, guys. It's, it's dangerous. You know what I mean? It, it was. They're saying it wasn't created by the government or lab, but you know who knows? Anyway, guys, you know what I mean, guys. Listen, there's, there's if it's, it's sometimes, sometimes when stranger, a stranger comes up to you and they say, hey, hey, can I borrow some money for the bus home? Because, you know, I, I used to be addicted to crack, and now I'm not addicted to crack. I'm just trying to support my family, but I, I lost my wallet at the ga the other gas station, and I'm at this gas station. I'm really trying to catch this bus home, so if you can give me, like, 50 bucks, you think you could do that for me? And, 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 I, say, and I say to him, well, why, why, why do you make me sit here for five minutes listening to the story before you finally get to the point of asking for money? You could have just skipped that whole story, and I would have said no. No, I'm not giving you 50 bucks. I don't, I don't, first of all, I don't have 50 bucks. Does it look like I got 50 bucks? No, nah, man, you see this car? That means I'm in debt. All right? You, you see this house? That means I'm in debt. Like everybody else, I don't got 50 bucks to be giving random people just because they lost their wall. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're in that situation. If it's even real, guys, what's real? Who knows, guys? That tree's probably real. Look at it. It's pretty big, too. It's pretty cool. Guys, we're coming up on this park. 
this park up here. There's a park. There's a park in my neighborhood. Mike, if you're watching this on the toilet, I hope you're enjoying it. I'm gonna try to keep it keep it going, keep it hot, keep it live. Guys, I'm gonna, I'll show you my garden once I get that up and running. I got I've got about a thousand pounds of horse shit coming real soon, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a no a no dig gardening, which is just three inches of compost, and then you plant, and that's it, guys. You don't even have to dig anything. We're gonna see how it does. I got about a million seeds. I'm gonna plant, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna grow some cukes. I'm gonna grow some maters. Guys, I got about 135 different types of tomatoes, guys. Uh, I'll show you to them. Uh, I'll show you them sometime when they grow. And I'm gonna grow potatoes and tomatoes in my basement. Cause guys, you think about it, you eat a lot of both of them, right? Bam, why don't I just grow them in your basement? Seems like a good idea, guys. You just get a couple tubs, a couple lights. Bada bing, bada boom. Guys, when I start growing those, I'll show you too. It's really easy, guys. You can literally grow anything inside under any regular lights. You just plant it in dirt. You, you, you just gotta water. That's the biggest thing, guys. You gotta remember to water it. Check the dirt. Check it. You know what I mean? Just check it. Don't disrespect it. You know what I mean? That's what all the cool kids been saying. Hope this microphone working. Guys, there ain't nobody in the park. Check this out. Check it out, guys. This is a park in the neighborhood I live, guys. Guys, no, they lifted the restraining order. I know what you're thinking. Guys, that was that was years ago. That's behind me, guys. There's nothing. You know what I mean? You don't. Why do you even need to bring that up? What time I got? Oh, I got time, guys. I got, I got half hour lunch break. It's only been six and a half minutes. If you're still with me, God bless you. Guys, check this out. Oh, we want to go swinging? That'd be pretty sick, McLick, guys. I want to build. I'm gonna. I could build all this easy, guys. You can build anything. Just think about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> guys, you gotta build it. You build your own house. It's just so easy. I'm gonna do it. Don't worry. Check it. Check it, don't disrespect it. I should have my arm around. Oh, I am a little boy of seven on a swing. <laughs> That's the guys, you ever heard that song? It's on one of those cereal commercials. Oh, shit, guys, it's a little windy, trendy. I'm not gonna jump, guys. Last time I tried to jump off a swing, I landed on my head and almost broke my neck. Okay, I learned my lesson. I told my, my friend James that yesterday, I'm never I'm never trying to backflip off a swing again. If you can do it, good for you. I can't. I almost broke my neck. Oh, jeez. Oh, this, you're swinging, swinging, swinging with me. If you guys like swinging with me? You having fun? If you're in quarantine, just pretend you're on this swing next to me. You see, there's an empty swing. That's for you. That's for you guys. That's for you. That's swing. You pretend you're right next to me swinging. Look, we're swinging, how fun is this? Let's go check out some of this other park. Holy crap. Oh guys, I don't know how I'm gonna stop. It's going too fast. Guys, is this mulch? Should they put mulch down here? Oh shit, check that out. Oh, you see that jump? I got at least five feet. God, see guys, I fucking hurt my ankle. Jumping like six inches. You guys wanna see me do these real quick? Guys, my shoulders are not in good shape. So if both my shoulders get ripped out of my sockets, which is pretty much a guarantee, then, you know, I told myself so, you know what I mean? So let's see, let's see, check that out, guys. Think I can make it across without falling or dying? Let's check it. Fuck, American Ninja Warrior, oh shit. Uh, God, it's so hard. Oh, I'm gonna die. Bad idea. Ugh. Can I go back? The, why, why would you say that? I can't. I can't do it. My hands hurt. Oh, that's it. Too heavy. Too fat, guys. I gotta lose some weight. Guys, I'm 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 well over 200 pounds. Well, not well over. You know, just right over the hurdle there. All right. Wait. What else? What else? You want to slide? You guys want to see me go down a slide? Oh, I can. You. Oh, guys. There's a rock wall. You guys want to see me climb a rock wall? Check this shit out. You want to see this? Right here. This one is a big one. Big mask right here. You think I can conquer that wall? Which, go ahead. Say yes or no. Tell me. That's hot. You know what? Now that I look at it, it's higher than I thought it was. I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. Guys. Oh. Oh, man. These grips are. Grips are small. Fucking conquer, dude. Conquer that shit. Oh, there's another side. Did you guys ever believe that? I am grateful for this. Oh, 
rock wall having two sides, dude. Go check this shit out. It's James Bond. Right here. James Bond. Oh man, that was sick. That's some good footage right there, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much the park. Oh, we'll come down and shoot hoops sometime. Guys, I got this basketball. What time is it? I got this basketball. It's called Never Flat. What does that mean? It means it never goes flat. What do you think it means? Um, I'm, I'm talking to myself, not you guys. I wouldn't say that to you. Okay. I should have brought it, but, but I gotta bring a backpack, a whack pack, a tackle pack. That somehow I hurt my nipple climbing the rock wall. I think what happened is those grips are really rough. They're, those grips are almost like sandpaper. So I think what happened is one scraped, came down and scraped off my nip, clean off. God, it's like a slice, like a slice of. Of vegan meat. <laughs> oh man, look, it's like nice and shady here. Check this shit out. This tree. Yo, this is a solid tree right here. You see this tree? How tall that dude is? This dude's been here for a minute. Look, I'm hugging a tree. How you doing, buddy? You look good. You really do. For your age, I don't know what your age is. Probably older than me. You're looking good. You and all your friends looking great. Keep up the good work, guys. Gotta remember to talk to the trees, guys. It helps them grow. Guys, remember, <clears throat> if you're gonna garden, I forgot to do this. So, you know what I mean? Do what I say, not what I do. I'm not gonna say it twice. Sometimes I usually say that saying twice, but it's stupid. Anyway, guys, you gotta lick the seeds. You gotta lick them before you plant them. You gotta lick them. Because that puts your DNA on them and then the plants. Supposedly, I don't know where, I read this multiple places. <laughs> and, and, and they grow to your, your genetic specifications. Apparently, so you get super, if, if you're all about tomatoes, and tomatoes are really good for you, sp specifically, when you lick the seeds, apparently you'll grow super, super you tomatoes. Oh shit, yeah, dude, this song feels ill nasty. Woo, check it, check it, don't disrespect it. Getting a face full of D right now, God, I love that D in the face. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, give me some of that D. Man, guys, you ever get some D in the face like that? Love that D. This guy's building a house over here. We got a few minutes, guys. We aren't even halfway. Thanks for coming on a walk with me. A quarantine walk. You can hear my rambling, bambling, dambling, famblings. I haven't done an episode like this in a while. So I've been doing short stuff because it's easier. I mean, this is easy too. I'm just talking, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm talking. That's it. All right, guys, this guy's got a big ladder. I bet this ladder, I bet this ladder could, could easily dunk a basketball if it was a person, you know what I mean? Just look how tall it is. You see it? I don't know where it is. It's a pretty tall ladder. That's probably taller than a b-ball hoop. It just, it just drops the ball in, you know what I mean? Yeah, you see there's a lot of anybody out. Yeah, there's a little lady we passed, a couple kids. Pretty nice out. How's it going? Because everybody's, everybody's stuck in their houses, guys. They're free. Free, guys. Turn off for TV, please. It's... It's, please, turn off your TV. It's the worst. It's just, it's just teaching me how to think. It's, it's just nonsense. Guys, check out this dumpster. I bet there's all kinds. I bet we could build a house with just the stuff in this dumpster here. You know what I mean? It's just one, one man's, one man's shitty piss stained trash is another man's treasure. You guys are hear that saying? Everybody knows that saying. What is going on? Hey, going to ride it. I am to ride it. I am to ride it. I'm going to ride it. Yeah, so nice. Check this out. Check out those trees out, yo. Dude, these trees straight be chilling, guys. How long, how much would you love being a tree? What's your, you, you don't have to work. Hey, yeah, that's it. You're just straight chilling. You got, yeah, squirrels climbing on you. How cool is that? I, I mean, I don't got squirrels climbing on me. So, like, I, I ain't shit. I ain't got shit on a tree. You know what I mean? Squirrels, I mean, squirrels will never climb on me, no matter what I do. Well. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could go in, if I if I just tuned everything else out and specifically focused on becoming like a squirrel master, of course I could probably do it. I mean, yeah, anybody could. But I don't want to be a squirrel master, so. It's just too much time, guys. I got other shit to do. I can't be mastering squirrel. I can't be sitting here mastering squirrels just so they'll climb on me so I can be as cool as a tree because I'll never be as cool as a tree. It's just a, that's just a peanut butter fact right there. Stamp it, seal it, approve it. Out the window, guys. Into the trash. Look at this, people doing yard work. 
cleaning up the yard. I, I, dude, guys, I mow my yard like two or three times a year. I'm really lazy. Guys, it doesn't matter. Grass can grow a little long. Who cares? It's fine. Guys, you don't have to, do, you don't have to mow it every week. So you can mow it every week. It's just crazy. Well, I mean, I guess if it grows faster, it grows slow here. That's why I only have to mow a few times a year. How you doing? I think that lady just flipped me off. Oh, yeah, you flipped me off. Why? Why? Because I have a backwards hat, huh? You think I'm some sort of punk? You think I'm some sort of punk walking around because I have a backwards hat? I don't have a spaceship on my shirt. Does that look like some sort of punk to you? Oh, shit, she's turning around. I think she heard me. No, seriously, she's turning around. Oh, she's going in her driveway. Is she, is, she, is, she, is, she, is she swearing at me? I saw her mouth move, kind of angry, like an angry grimace, like, and she's going, that's what I saw. That guy probably saw it too, right there. Okay, it doesn't matter what other people think. Don't worry about it, guys. This, I had to, this is, it's hard to unprogram what you care, other people's opinions. It's hard to do it because we're programmed to react to that, you know what I mean? When you think of something, if you're gonna wear something, this is what I had to do myself. Maybe, maybe it will resonate. If you're gonna wear something, you're like, ah, oh, I wanna wear this. People will probably think I'm stupid. I used to say that. <laughs> and then you're like, wait, right? Doesn't fucking matter. Who cares? Whatever you want, guys. You know what I mean? If you wanna wear a, if you wanna wear a 10 foot, a uh, hundred gallon hat, I don't know how, how many gallons that would be. It's orange. If you wanna wear that everywhere, just do it. Who cares? That's your favorite hat. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter anybody else's opinion, just do it. Just wear that 10 foot orange, 10, 100 gallon hat, dude. Fill it up with water, guys. You'll never, if you had a hat, if you had a 100 gallon hat full of water, you'd be set. But you'd have to come up with some sort of balancing. You probably need a neck brace because that'd be pretty heavy. 100 gallons of water, how many pounds is it? You know what? Now let's, let's, let's scratch that plan because I think your neck would break. I don't think, you're, I don't think your neck could hold 100 gallons of water. What do you think? And your neck, oh, that's pretty heavy because I can imagine just one gallon kind of straining my neck a little. <laughs> two, no, nah, I did two, three, three is probably max, but it'd be for a very short time before my neck just starts going, ah, you know what I mean? Maybe some of the strong mans might be able to do 20, 30, maybe 50. I don't know about 100 though. You should test it. Hey, 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 strong, strong lifters, try it. You put, put like a, a balance beam type thing on your head, right? And get a good stance. And I'm trying to film it. You will not be angry at the, the loud motorcycle assholes. All right, got it. I'm good. I'm good. Anyway, strongman, put a big piece of plywood or something, like maybe reinforce on a balance board type thing in your head, and put 100 gallons of water. And I want to see if, if you can balance it on your head. That'd be cool. If you can, send me a video tag at Casey's World. You know what I mean? Let me see it. If you guys are trying to balance, okay, send me send me your videos. You trying to balance water on your head, then I'll, then I'll try to beat beat it, but I probably won't be able to. I'm telling you, I got a weak neck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be up front with you. If you can do one, that's probably more than I can do. <laughs> it's not a very, it's not a very challenging challenge. Coming back, we got a yogger. Young man yogging. Young man yogging. That sounds like, that sounds like some sort of novel. Young man yogging. Oh uh, yeah. That, that reaction wasn't to the, to the, the fit young man driving, walking, running past me. Look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm falling apart over here. Just a, you know, a, a, a nice, handsome, fit, a fit man walks by me, and I can't, can't even I can't get my senses straight. What's going on? Oh, back to the kids, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm about to get home. Go home. Back to work. Quarantine. Quarantine 2020. The, the reckoning. All right, guys. Quarantine. Corona quarantine 2020 the reckoning remember to, remember to keep 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 was it 30 feet away from people which I do anyway So it's like I mean, I mean you're not telling me anything. I don't already do you know what I mean? Don't touch anybody don't touch anything. Or I don't touch anything. Why would I want to touch anything? You know what I mean? Wash your hands. I mean that's obvious, but some people don't do that but Yeah, we're 30 feet between you and the next person. That's easy. I do that anyway You know what I mean? It's called not leaving your house. It's not that hard. I, I it's just, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm an expert at it, guys. So I got no problems with that. Some people having problems saying they can't do it. Well, hey, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Go outside. <laughs> Go out and hug a tree. Please, just tell, tell, tell the trees how thankful you are that, you, you know, they're giving you air and shit. Stop, and stop polluting. <laughs> stop driving big trucks, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's, let's give up the big trucks. Can we please? 
Can we please? <laughs> Guys, if they would let just a third of, think about it, if they would let just like a third of people work from home permanently, how much pollution that would reduce because you're not, all those people aren't driving to work. That'd be huge. Companies need to start doing that if they can. Yeah, how's it going? So guys, let's wrap it up, tap it up, blap it up. We're back at the minute work sign. I told you this moth ain't working right now because I'm on my break. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, here it is. Mike, if you're watching this on the toilet, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made your your toilet going experience brighter, a brighter experience. I hope it brightened, it brightened up your toilet experience. God, just sounds bright. I know, turn my head around, guys. Don't tell it. Listen. I was trying to get that D in the face. You guys know, look, now you can't see my face. That's the whole problem. It doesn't matter. We're almost done. Guys, I got to get a face full of D. Who cares? Just go out and get a face full of D. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Just do it. All right, guys. Have a good day. Have a good have a good quarantine and a good weekend. Get some fresh air. Get some exercise. Drink some water. Meditate. Uh, what else? Wim Hof method is good. Try try that stuff if you're stressing. If you're stressing. Meditate every day. Just close your eyes. Just focus on your breath. Find a quiet place. They put some relaxing music on if you want, and that's it. Start with 10 minutes a day. It'll help a lot, guys. It'll help a lot. And then, and then you know what? Next thing you know, you'll be taking a crap in the middle of your backyard and not even caring what your neighbors think, guys. Am I speaking from personal experience?